Well, there it is. All of it. All for your delectation. Holly, do you expect us to take that seriously, or is it a bit tongue-in-cheek? Um, I don't know, really. <laughs> tongue-in-cheek, what do you mean by that? <laughs> She's got lovely legs. <laughs> Oh, come on, the video is about quite a serious subject, isn't it? I mean, war is not particularly funny. Deadly serious, I suppose. So you, what you're saying is it's not particularly serious, it's a bit tongue-in-cheek. Paul! Yeah, <laughs> you want a serious answer? Yeah, I want a serious answer. It's about being tongue-in-cheek. Well, I mean, is it? I mean, you've been giving us an incredible amount of hype. I don't think I've seen so much hyperbole about a mm -hmm. single release. Did you have to do that? I mean, did you? Does it not sell itself when you stop sniggering? <laughs> yes, we did have to do it. Why? Because, yeah. They're, yeah, they're a bunch of moronic titheads, really, so you have to build a certain kind of framework around I don't agree well, with that at back. all. I think the very fact that, you know, we, d we make a strong statement about things and that's the way we live is very important. I mean, we th they try and appear as though they manipulate us, this record company, the other way around. business thing, <laughs> but they are our puppets, definitely. And it is 1 a.m. <laughs> so we have to say titheads. <laughs> When I relax. You can say the tongue in cheek. No, there's not. A, no, there isn't a lot you can say. About to relax anyway. No, uh, okay. Then if you take the fact that it is tongue in cheek, isn't that a it's bit? It's not tongue in cheek. No. Well, it sounds to very much to me. Taking it, not the taking it very seriously. The statement isn't tongue in cheek. You know what I mean? I think it's very like we you know when two tribes go to war, a point is all that you can score, so to speak. I think that's a very true thing. It's pointless. Uh, what does it mean, Holly? What does it mean? Mm. Well, it means as in a fencing match, if you know you're scoring points and. Hit, you know, hitting people in certain parts of the body, or whereas um, if four cowboys kill ten Indians, you know, what does it mean, Holly? Kind of point this interview scoring. technique, Muriel. What does it mean? <laughs> what does it mean? Mm. Well, it means like an act of aggression against another party, a kind of a destructive rather than a creative mm, yeah. act of aggression. See, serious. Oh, sorry. Can be serious. That's how you do it. Mm. Thanks a lot, then, Paul. <laughs> From the point of view of the NTC. I think you might be perhaps doing Frankie Goes to a bit of a disservice, are you not? Because if you're trying very hard to make them controversial, and you must admit this We're not song. Trying. Well, it's the, the song thing isn't particularly controversial, is it? Did you try hard with the video of people grabbing each other by the genitals and ripping ears off and things? Well, the only to make brief that we gutsy. gave to the Godly and Cream is the brief that we usually give to all our video directors, which is annoy people oh, as wow. much as possible. Teddy <laughs> T and Frankie and all the people that are in our little team and our little area, we love to annoy people. I don't think you, I don't think you will annoy much sort of many people with this, though, will you? We tried. I think entertain's much more important than annoy. It's the same thing, yeah, Polly. Stimulate, well. stimulate. Mm, I think stimulate's a good kind of. A SDP word for what we're talking about. <laughs> oh! <laughs> we Don't have I... no leanings toward the SDP. None whatsoever. <laughs> Not this time of the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Don't you think this is a bit of a danger, after Relax and with this, of controversy becoming the norm and therefore it's going to get really boring because we're so used to people being controversial? Are we? I think so, yeah. Like who? Well, Stones, the Simon, definition police of this with word, the of Northern Ireland. Uh, can you give me a definition of it? Of controversy. Mm, of the stones. Well, you can take a point. Like, for instance, Relax was banned by the people who banned it. They said not because really it was about sex so much as about gay sex. And you said in the interview at that time that you uh, thought that that would uh, that that would perhaps break down a few barriers. Do you think this is going to break down any barriers, or are you not trying? I th I don't think we're particularly trying, but if it, it forces forward subject matter that can be dealt with in uh, popular terms, kind of like writing a pop song about something very serious. I mean, it has been done before, but this is a particularly 80s way of doing it, whereas kind of relax, you know, we finally admit that it was about the sexual act. Hey. Well, that was... <laughs> <laughs> that was... Uh, that's part of the entertainment that we are about. Each kind of uh, subject we deal with will be like a little six-minute movie, just for you. Isn't it dangerous with this subject, particularly about war, to try and oversimplify something? It's a very complex mm. issue, the imminence of World War III. It's a simplistic question, really, Muriel. You can't really deal with the terms that we're dealing with in a, in a question like that. We Why haven't not? really because dealt I mean, in definite political terms, though. We haven't made a particular statement, whether it be leftist or right-wing. <laughs> it's just a statement 
war is We bad. don't want to die. Yeah. But then that is, that is rather simplistic, isn't it? I mean, you can't really just say life that in a, in a, in a nine-minute uh, video. Life is simplistic. Is but life simplistic? No, but that's what you're saying. We're that's saying we not. don't want to die, and then we take it from there. That's the statement of the song. Oh, let let it it the boring, <laughs> 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 Surely life is very complex, but you're making a simplistic statement but by that's saying that. But that people only see in black and white, surely. The complexities of, of war and of, of all those statements are like the most boring, but it's easier to say something much more direct. Why get beat about the bush? Why make it glamorous, you know? Why kind of make it poetic um, to say an anti-war song as with what people like Bob Dylan's done? It was like a bit hard to understand unless you'd gone to... Stuff. That's another point. You, you did say in the publicity this is the best protest song in eight years. What was the song eight years ago that was so fantastic? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't like the song. I didn't like the song. It wasn't one we made it up. <laughs> did you, Paul? It was a joke, Muriel. Oh, it was a joke? <laughs> it's very, Telegraph very funny indeed, and we all laughed a great deal. I think Billy Bragg did that. About it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking forward to playing live? You haven't played live for a long time around the Midsummer Night Special for the first time. We've done kind of live things. Uh, we did like this fab gig at New Brighton. It was wonderful on it, like an open swimming pool with, um, with lasers and stuff like that. Uh, but real live things, we wait till people are actually frothing at the mouth for it. Okay, well, you frothing, Muriel. You uh, frothing. Frothing up <laughs> all over the place. I have to stop you there, but we're going to see you next week. And as I mentioned, next week, Friday the 29th at 8 o'clock, Midsummer's Night Tube Special. Frankie Goes to Holiday will be there, along with loads of other people. Big Sexy Jules Holland and lovely Leslie Ash will be there as well. And miss that, and you're going to feel so stupid. So here to give you a bit of a taste of it to keep you going in the week, here's just something to keep you going.